Nomen to be able to set up a new origin and a new orientation for our part. So what I'm going to use now is I'm going to go ahead and use, I have a multi-cavity block configuration and I'm going to use these to be able to set up multiple work coordinate systems and offsets and origins. So to start off I'm going to bring up the level manager. I'm going to turn off all the other parts leaving part one on and we can see that how the part sits in this particular place in space. So I'm going to actually reorientate this a little bit here how I want this to look. I'm going to unshade this so I can go ahead and what I'm going to do at this time is I'm going to use an option called create bounding box but what I'm going to do that's going to be different than most might do is I'm going to use just the center point. So what it'll do is it'll look at this particular block and find the center point of the entire block. That way I can create a new work coordinates from the center of the block and of course I would like my Z to be here at the top. So I'm going to say OK. You can see that this created a point position in the center there. So now what I'm going to use is I've added to my right click option dynamic WCS. So in this case now you see that it's set up with the origins and automatically when I move my mouse it's set and locked looking for me to pick new origin position. So this is going to be the location. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick that point that I created right here. Now what I want to do is I'd like the positive Z to be facing at the top of the block. So as I grab the end of the shaft here, I'll be able to rotate about the Y. So I'm going to left click and be able to drag that up or I could come over here, for example, and say 90 degrees. And you can see in this case it automatically stands that up, rotating around the Y axis. So I'm going to left click on the screen. That applies and locks that for me. Now what I'd like to do is it I can see that I'm at the center of the block where I want. My axes are correct. I want the positive X to be on my right here and the positive Y to be in the back. Well, I'd like this block to be set up at the top here. So I can grab at the bottom part of the shaft on that Z and you can see I get ver uh, horizontal lines that I can move along. So I'm going to left click on this and I'll be able to drag this up but instead of actually moving in increments like it's set for about every 250 thousandths, I'm going to actually just go ahead and select an endpoint, and you can see that it reflects relative to that point off of that. So I'm going to left click there. So now in this case, you can see that I've now set that the way I want it. So I'm going, okay, positive Y, positive X, and positive Z. It's set to the top, it's set to the center of the block. So I'll say, okay, and I'll say, level one block set and at this case if I wanted to give it a different work coordinates I could give it another work coordinates but I'm gonna say OK and I'm going to right click and go into view manager and we can see that this has been added so I'm going to select, that's highlighted right now, so I'm going to select the equal so I can bring my construction plane and my tool plane to match that. Now the way it's set is I'll be able to program this from the top. So for example, I'll go top, you can see here's my top, I'll go to front, and I'll go to isometric. We can see that block is set the way we want. Now that I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and do another block because I can actually turn this on and off to be able to reorientate this block at any time. So I'm going to right click, go to my view manager, set it back for top and equal, say OK. Turning on my levels, I'm going to go ahead and turn off that level and turn on level 2. Well level 2 has nothing so let's go to level 5 and turn off the first two options I had selected. So now when I say isometric we can see that block stands up like that. I'd like to actually set this block for example like this so I'd be able to work with it. So once again I can do the same type of configuration 
or in this case since I actually do have a center diameter on this whole location I can actually use that from the existing geometry so I'm gonna go ahead and right click dynamic WCS I'm gonna go ahead and select the center of this bottom hole I left click it automatically locks that in if I didn't want it in that position I can go ahead and go back into here grabbing that endpoint at the intersections left click and I can actually go now and add that to another location but this is the location we want so I'm gonna go ahead and select that I'm gonna go ahead in this case too is look at how my axis are set up I want the positive X to be over here to the right my positive Y to be back here and my Z to be standing up so I can start by swinging about the Y in this case by grabbing the last part of the shaft left click drag that up here or let's go ahead and highlight here and 90 so that's good just in case it reflects off another piece of geometry I'll left click that'll apply that now I can actually now swing around the Z by grabbing the X in this case so now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is grab the end of the sh X shaft left click and drag that around so this sets the block where I want that now what I'm gonna look for is the highest point it looks like the highest point is gonna be one of these areas here so like I did earlier is I'm gonna go ahead along the shaft the Z left click pull that up and I'll be able to reflect off the solid here and grab that highest point so now that when I put this in front for the way the configuration is now we can see it's at a higher point so now that I've got my positive X positive Y positive Z once again I can go ahead and apply that and we'll call that level should be level 5 correct level 5 set and apply that So view manager, I'll do one more to see about setting another one up. So we'll say level sets good. We we'll go back to top equals. I will turn on my levels. I'll turn everything on. Shading that right click and isometric. See puts all the blocks back. I'm going to look at it one more level here. So let's say number 12. So I'll select 12 and I've got the range set from 1 to 14 being the parts I'm working with and say off so now I've got another cavity block here that I'd like to set up so using my tools again in this case we're gonna have it looks like I would say we have two we got one set for this and one set for this so we're gonna actually create two work offsets and orientations for this one on that so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is leaving that one on I'm going to use the option to find that point position so I think I might go ahead and do this one first so in this case looking at this block I'm gonna go ahead and say that these two these two walls back here being the left side and the right side will be my location up inside of a vise so I'm gonna actually set those so I'm gonna write and I want it to be in this case the top of the material being up here Wait a minute, we got a flat area that the cavities come from. Let's go ahead and come from this lower left hand corner on um, actually. So I'm going to right click and use the option dynamic WCS. I'm going to select here, being the bottom where I want for my origin. I'd like the Z to be standing up here so I can actually once again grab that end of the shaft. And this time I'm just going to snap it right to the end point here. That'll take care of about the angle for me and once again I'm gonna go ahead and turn around here and I'm gonna grab that X do the same type of thought just select the endpoint here and automatically locks in so once I've gone ahead and applied that one and I'm gonna say uh, level 12 set dash one Now what I'm going to go ahead and do once again is view manager. I'm going to go back to the top to come from that orientation. 
and now I'd like to go ahead from this point and maybe set this up so I'm using this left part of the block and this section and I have a flat surface here so using that same block I'm just kind of orientating how I'd like to see the block sitting in this case so right click dynamic WCS selecting using the Z obviously if I go to the Z at one point I can swing around the Y but since it's setting this direction I don't want to swing I want to swing around the X so I'm gonna to go to the Z in this case to swing about the X this time so left click drag that grab that endpoint there and the Y and I'll grab that back part right there I'll go ahead and set my block how I want that saying okay now I'm going to say level 12 set dash 2. Now that we've gone ahead and created multiple work coordinates, let's take a view, of, for example, at this particular block here. So now what I go ahead and do is I right click view manager and I've got level set 1. So I'll select that. Now I want to set my, my tool plane and my construction plane my WCS. So instead of selecting these three buttons, I'm going to go ahead and hit equal. I'm going to go ahead and set. Now when I right click and say isometric, you can see that it's coming from the lower left hand corner. X positives to the right, Y is to the back, and here's my orientation. So now I would toolpath that, and everything that I toolpath would be orient would be associated to this particular WCS including tools and operations then I would go ahead and say okay now I've toolpath that now I go back to view manager say I want to do the second area here left click here set that now that when I say isometric this time I'll fit it to the screen we can see that I'm now coming from this lower left hand corner back here in that case and now I'd go ahead and machine these details over here. And I can go back and right click View Manager, put it back into top, the original orientation. Say OK, right click, isometric, and you can see the block goes back into its regular settings. When I go ahead and bring up the level manager and turn all the levels back on, you can see how the block are all sitting inside of each other and reorientate. So now like I said, is I can go back into View Manager, set it to level one block set that I created, equal, okay, and I'll say isometric. Shade that. And what we're gonna look at is that was level set. We have twelve, but let's see which one we had turned on we had churn on level one so selecting level one turning off and we can see we're back in that orientation ready to cut that part I hope this helps on how to use the W dynamic WCS using the dynamic nomen and how the orientation can be used